New tonight, the reality of crime's impact on business in Memphis once again hitting home for one Memphis store owner. 20-year business owner Talisa Franklin, owner of Flower and More in Highland Heights, says she's closing her doors for good. Franklin says she's experienced constant break-ins at her flower shop. Memphis public safety data shows that from the beginning of July until now, within a quarter mile of her shop, there have been at least 10 calls for breaking and entering and three calls for a burglary of a business. ABC 24's Jay Shakur has the story. It's sad to see what you work so hard for and how people just come in here and ramshack your place. Talisa Franklin, owner of Flowers and More Memphis, a flower shop in Highland Heights, is closing for good after her business was vandalized and broken into. She says over 20 times in the last six months. I'm a first generation business owner. The most recent time was Wednesday. These mom and pops that's out here, their whole life savings are trying to have a viable business and these criminals are coming over and over and over again. Franklin, who's been in business for 20 years, says intruders took some of her merchandise, some large store fans, computers, and other items from her store, a trend she is all too familiar with. We have been broken into so many times, sometimes I don't even call the police. I was like, why? Because I don't have an hour, two hours to wait. Memphis police crime data showing from July 1st to mid-October, there have been at least 16 separate property or business break-ins within a quarter mile of Franklin's store in an area of Memphis less than six miles from downtown. And because investigators have not caught any suspects, Franklin is calling on MPD to increase patrols. Community policing, know your people. I would say to the police officers that's in this precinct area or in any area in our city, build a relationship, not only just when something is wrong, go in there when something is right. In Memphis, I'm Jay Shakur. Now, Franklin says she has some info on one of the suspects, but so far, police have not made any arrests. If you can help investigators, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH.